Okay, so you see here where it says, see the way that it's spelt? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is pronounced. It, me, okay, it's me, ma. Mm -hmm. Okay, me, ma. Right? Mm -hmm. But you see the, the etymological breakdown as it's going from here to here to here to here. But really, this is really what it is. It's Lenu. Right. That's that's the real, and look, look at the flag. Can, 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 can you? See, I don't know if your window is in front of the flag, but look at the flag. Yep. You see the flag? You see, yep. look, do you yep. see it? See it says at the top L N U. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Does this look familiar? Right? Wait, a star and a crescent. Indeed. And a, and a cross. Yep. And as more as we know that this cross like this, you you you're, you're talking about the horizon. You're talking about the horizon and the, you're talking about this again. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. Keep going, bro. That's what that is, right? Yep. This right here is that line right here. Okay. This line here is this line here. Yep. Right? So this right here is, this is April. And over here is, is is uh well Lee well okay so over, over here is Aries uh -huh. and then over here is Libra right uh -huh. yeah so like this is the summertime this is the, it's the winter time you got the sun in the moon right okay yep. okay so really it's it's L apostrophe and you or the new or okay, so there's another thing okay so so <clears throat> when they when they when they 1866, right? Mm -hmm. When they when they came here, um, Jacques Cartier and all of them, they came about 16, 16, 16, uh, well, mid you know. 1600s. At that time, remember, Matthew de Costa knew what this is. Now, if if I go, if if I go. Okay, but I don't want to jump too far. I don't want to jump too fast. But the, but the Mi'kmaq, the Mi'kmaq language and the Mi'kmaq people are actually an ancient form of Commission. And this is an ancient form of Commission. And today they, they know Commission or what you call Egyptian hieroglyph by way of what they call it, uh, Rosetta Stone. Point of selector. The Mi'kmaq language and the Mi'kmaq people are actually an ancient form of commission and this is an ancient form of commission and today they, they know commission or what you call egyptian hieroglyph by way of what they call it uh, rosetta stone right and the rosetta stone was you know egyptian coptic and greek so that you know and then so from that you were able to use that as a primer and 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 decipher a lot of the egyptian text well they just found that not too long ago they already knew in 1866 make my language and was dumb enough not to put the two together I just wanted to put that as a side note, but yeah, I no, it's, was... it's interesting to 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 note because uh, you know there's the uh, you know right whether it's the commerce or you know colonies from you know and we call it ancient Egyptian, and you have you know Phoenician, you know what I'm saying so it's you know it's all in on so you right. know like a series was saying like you know ancient Libyans, but not referring to the Libya of today, but you know there's a whole hidden history behind it so keep keep going bro right so then okay so you see here the breakdown of it see then you come to the new right so the, the adjectival and singular noun previously spelled l apostrophe and you the new the plural is the no the no 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 right is the term they make my use for themselves their auto autonomy meaning human being or the people remember yeah. that, that that united states is, is their 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 constitution is framed around and about we the people exactly we, the people right who are the people it's the original people of that land which is, is Mi'kmaq territory i'm going to get to this okay so the members of the Mi'kmaq historical record referred to themselves as new but use the term Mi'kmaq or my kin, like brother, what's up, right? Okay, so now go over here. And this is, again, at justialaw.com. 
And this right here is the Delaware Code, Title 29, State Government, 2016. Title 29, State Government, Chapter 1, Jurisdiction Sovereignty, one Subsection 107, Lenape. See the way they spell that? See the way they spell that? And we as in, in etymology knows that vowels, okay, are not there. Yeah. So this is Lanu. Okay, this is where you're getting the oh shit, this. sorry. So the Lenape Indian tribe of Delaware. Okay, so the so-called people of Halifax in Nova Scotia, the so-called runaway slaves from the United States by way of the Underground Railroad that came up to Cincinnati, went up to uh, St. Catharines, um, Ontario, and then met at uh, met at uh, Uncle Tom's cabin, really, which was a woman and stuff like that. And from there, ended up journeying to Quebec, where I'm, where Montreal, so-called Montreal, um, where they met at, in Little Burgundy, where uh, Gamanaco, you met me actually at my dad's salon. Mm -hmm. It's actually right behind my dad's salon. There was a, it, it's a historic, it's actually, it's a, it's a historical site. And so, bro, church there. it actually uh, broke down. It fell down because, yeah. again, you know, they, they, so I'm just uh, sorry, I, I just want to sure. put in. So, when you say Burgundy, uh, the judge is really referring to you know the uh, little Burgundy, you know, Saint Jacques around which, which, uh, George, George Vanier, yeah, Lionel George Gou. Vanier, yeah, that area, and Lionel Gou area. yeah, exactly. Keep, that, keep going, bro. That area, that, yeah, that area is, is a real old area. It's like, you know what I mean? It goes way back and it's actually where the so-called runaway slaves or the asleep Moors or the, the Moors that knew actually was bringing, trying to, you know, bring some Moors from, 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 because at, at that time there was the abol abolition of slavery, but even still it was abolished. They were still kidnapping, uh, free so-called free black people from everywhere and you know they were still doing they're, they're still doing that today so um uh so the so-called uh nova scotians or the, the so-called people they call uh you guys can still hear me yeah perfectly man you, you can still hear me yeah okay 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 so um the, the so-called runaway underground runaway slaves that ended up in nova scotia um, which is my, that, that's my mother. She, she, like there's uh, Sparks, Carvery, uh, Downey, you got all these different family names um, down there. And my, my, and my, or my mother's, my mother's uh, straw man slave name is Sparks. And that is a big, big uh, uh, family there. And th those so-called people, which are, you know, a lot of them will call themselves black Indians because of the, you know, they, they, they know they're not African. Africans down there, they have a real hard time even being down there um, because, uh, you know, I'll save that for another, uh, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'll, that's a, another whole, at least another hour just explaining Sierra Leone and, and Freetown and Scotians and that's a whole other mm -hmm. dissertation. Um, however, uh, coming back to the, to, to, to the Mi'kmaq and who they are and the Scotians and Scotians call themselves uh, uh, black Indians or, or black people with Indian blood or Indians that got black in them. They have the, the, these, these, these connotations and terms and they really, really assimilated in their heads. Right. Right. So, um, which is, which is another issue altogether. Yep. So, um, but real quickly, uh, so those, you know, those people calling themselves Scotians that are so-called asleep moors really really that's what they are they themselves at least know that they come from delaware those people that are in nova scotia come from delaware i actually have a sister who lives in baltimore right she's still there i talk to her a lot stuff like that right see so this this is not no moors this is this is the law right this is the law dot just dia dot com right see what right. it says so let's go down here legislative findings the Napi Indians, Indian tribe of Delaware, referred to as the tribe in this section, has an unbroken history of 100, 
of hundreds of years of settlement and continued mm -hmm. residency. This, this is domicile, see how they play games, uh, mm -hmm, in the mm -hmm. vicinity of the town Chester Witten K. So you can just go all the way down here. Look, there the tribe can trace back as far as early 1700s. The tribe was formerly known as the Moors. Okay. And for decades, uh, and for, for many decades of the 20th century, state documents such as driver's license or you know illegal uh, de instruments design uh, designated the tribe's race with an M. Yep. So just to let you know, you know, I mean, Delaware School Code 1921. This is not like it's only us that we don't know this. This is in their state law, man. Okay. <laughs>